let's talk about brainwashing. What is brainwashing anyway? It's also known as thought control, mind control, or even re-education. Brainwashing is the idea that the mind can be controlled by using certain psychological techniques. So how does this work? One way is the compliance persuasion education method. Compliance is basically when someone tells you to just do it. Whereas persuasion is more like, hey, you'll feel good for doing this or it's the right thing to do. And then of course there's the education method, which is basically propaganda. Some would even go as far to say as all social media is propaganda. But what is propaganda anyway? Propaganda is communication used to influence you to further an agenda. Now I'm not saying all propaganda is evil, but it's probably good to know when it's being used to influence you. How can you tell if you see propaganda? A telltale sign of propaganda are selective facts designed to encourage a particular perception. Personally, I think the most interesting tell is when you see a piece using loaded language, which are words used to an elicit an emotional response rather than a rational one. This can range from anything from a news headline to a meme. Have you ever been emotionally manipulated by one of these things? I know I have. I've seen it happen to others, which is one of the reasons I started looking into this to begin with. You know what else I find interesting? Mantras. A mantra can be a word or sound repeated to aid concentration and meditation. Or simply a statement or slogan repeated frequently. So you might be asking, how does this affect us in our everyday lives? For me personally, one of the earliest mantras I can remember is repeating the Pledge of Allegiance. But mantras are everywhere if you look. You know that song or slogan you can't get out of your head? That's a mantra. That event you attended where the speaker up there asked you to repeat what they were saying? Mantra. I'm not saying mantras are inherently bad. You can use them for good. What I am saying is, make sure the words you use align with your true beliefs. Stop. This video could be banned because I'm about to expose some truth. In an earlier video, we discussed loaded language. So let's expand on that and talk about trigger words. You're probably very aware that words can trigger strong emotional responses within yourself and others. This is due to our social conditioning surrounding these words and phrases. For example, many people have strong feelings on a certain politician or maybe the way people choose to handle a certain health crisis. Advertisers, influencers, and people in power are all well aware of how to use emotions created by these situations to their advantage. Don't believe me? That's okay. Simply Google trigger words and you will instantly discover the secret proven easy ways how the right words can help you win. And if you decide to Google it, I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you've found.